Today, we are going to discuss how to rank higher in the clan expedition so you and your clan mates can get the best rewards. Make sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. Clan expedition is a game mode in Survivor.io that is broken into three phases. The first phase is a 24 hour preparation phase where the leader or vice leader can select between three difficulties. The difficulty level currently stops at level 15, but I am told that there will be more levels in the future. Next is the personal stage phase, which lasts three days. During this phase, each clan member is required to complete five stages, which are like normal chapter stages. When each member clears one stage, damage against the expedition boss in the next phase is increased by 0.3% and the max is 30%. So one member can obtain a total of 1.5% by completing all five stages. Technically, only 20 members need to complete all five stages. In the final phase, all clan members have three days to challenge the expedition boss. For every HP bar the boss loses, you can earn one expedition testament. Each member is given a free chance to defeat the boss daily, but gems can be used to try again, and the best result is recorded. Once 300 testaments are reached, the challenge is deemed successful, and clan EXP is earned. To rank in clan expedition, you will need to reach difficulty 10 or above, and the higher your clan ranks, the better the rewards you can get, including epic tech parts, gems, and clan EXP. Your clan will be grouped with other clans, so it's not exactly every clan versus every clan. It's a group ranking system. In addition, a tiebreaker will go to the clan who ranked higher first. So it may be important to sign into the game and challenge the expedition boss as quickly as possible, right after reset because the tiebreaker for first place will go to the clan who reached it first. And it's really important to get all clan members on the same page and ensure that they are doing their best. So let's go over some tips to get the most out of challenging bosses. Many different builds work against expedition bosses, but you may want to stick to using the eternal suit. The eternal suit can get you revives, which can increase your attack and movement speed and it may be important to kill bosses as quickly as possible. So what I like to use is kind of like a hybrid Deathwalker build without the armor of Quietus. We have the Sword of Disorder, the Void Waker Emblem, Eternal Gloves, the Eternal Suit, the Twisting Belt, and Red Void Waker Treads. There are other builds and weapons you can use here as well. The Kunai is also a great weapon to use. In addition, if you are very strong, you might want to downgrade some of your equipment that raises your HP like the Eternal Suit, the Twisting Belt, and Red Void Waker Treads. That way it's easier to die early on, and you can have that attack and movement speed boost from the get-go. You can also unequip tech parts that increase your HP. In addition, Master Yang and King are both great heroes to use, as is Croaky as your pet. Croaky will increase your crit damage by a lot, as well as increase your skill damage. These are all great skills to use against bosses right here. We have the drones, the palm wind skill, and the kunai. I'm going to grab the drone. So here you go, let's go defeat the boss right here. I'm going to grab sunfire palm. Also, the destroyer is a great skill to choose, as well as other skills that can hit single targets like the whistling arrow. You may also want to grab the high power bullet. This will increase your attack. And none of these are really important right here. So one way to do this is to die as quickly as possible. You might want the boss to push you into a corner. But this boss kind of does its own thing. And as you see, I'm having some difficulty dying right now. That's why it's important to downgrade your gear and remove tech parts. Now the objective here is to defeat the boss as quickly as possible and get 30 tokens or 30 testaments. There's one death. We need to die again. There's death too. Too fast, too furious. And I'm trying to stay close to the boss so the drones hit it and all my other skills have a chance to attack. Once you die a third time, you can actually use a revival token. So there we go. Now we should be able to defeat this boss pretty quickly. And just like that, we defeated the boss. That's how you can help your clan rank higher in expedition ranking. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips, leave a comment, smash like, subscribe, have a great day, and I'll see you later.